One day in Mexico, there was a boy named Jose lying down in a cornfield. He was the son of a farmer. After knowing that being a farmer in America was much more promising, his father decided to move to America to change his fate. After saying goodbye to the family there, Jose's family departed, joining thousands of immigrants from Mexico who migrated every year from children to the elderly, moved and worked as farm laborers in plantation fields in California. Since moving to California among the four brothers, only Joe's was the smartest and had a strong will to continue elementary school at school. Joe's was very good at mathematics. He was so smart that every time the teacher gave him difficult questions, he could definitely answer them easily. Unfortunately, because he had to go to school while working as a farm laborer, Joe's often skipped class and missed out on lessons. That morning in the field while harvesting grapes, Joe's complained that he didn't want to work as a farm laborer and that working in the field was tiring and hot. His father tried to calm him down since the only job that they could do was that and they had no other choice but to do it to survive. He said that it was the way that they could return to Mexico and build their dream house. He hoped that Joe's would understand the condition. When he heard that, Joe's fell silent, contemplating what his father told him. After work, Joe's went to school but because he was too tired, he fell asleep in class. Luckily, a teacher, Miss Young, understood what happened and didn't get angry. That afternoon after school, driven by his curiosity about outer space, Joe's approached Miss Young and asked what the purpose of stars in the sky was. Hearing the strange question softly, Miss Young asked him to try to find it himself. Later, Joe's was doing his homework at home. He was told to draw his dream on paper, but he couldn't find anything to draw. Amid his confusion, his older brother, who had just come home, invited everyone at home to watch the launch of the first NASA rocket in the world. When he saw the greatness of the rocket launching into space, he was stunned by the amazing sight. The next day at home, when everyone was getting ready to go to the fields, Miss Young suddenly came. She visited so she could talk to Jose's parents about her concern about Jose's education. It was a shame that a student as smart as Jose often missed class because he had to work in the fields. She suggested that it would be better for Jose to stop working so he could focus on school, but his father did not agree. His son had to continue working to help the family's economy. Moreover, Jose was only there temporarily. If they had enough money saved, they would return to Mexico and build a house there. Miss Young was at a loss for words hearing that answer. Outside before Miss Young left, Joe's followed and gave his homework about his dreams. When Miss Young found out that Joe's wanted to be an astronaut, she smiled and said that one day, his dream would come true. She told him to keep fighting for it and ignore what people told him because she believed he would achieve it. Hearing the teacher's support, little Joe's didn't know whether to be happy or sad. That afternoon in the fields, because the harvest didn't reach the target, the farm workers were only paid half of their usual wages. Even though he was annoyed, Joe's father couldn't do anything about it. Amid his disappointment, he realized that Miss Young's words were true. If this continued, his son would end up the same as him and he didn't want that to happen. He then asked his children to hold hands and told them to promise to fight for their dream. He said that he gave up his dream of raising money to build a house in Mexico and decided that they would stay in California for the sake of the children's education. They were happy and they all returned home. Decades later, Joe's grew to be a brilliant man. He graduated with the best grades on campus and he never forgot his dream of becoming an astronaut. He sent a job application to the NASA Research Center, and while waiting for a reply, he had an internship at a state research institute. On the first day of work when he attended a meeting with the head of the project named Clint, Joe's was given a difficult question about nuclear. But even though he was just a new kid, Joe's answered that difficult question correctly. Clint was amazed and asked another staff to show Joe's his office, but when he had just sat down, the office lights immediately went out. He went to the receptionist and asked to change the lights, but the receptionist thought that Joe's was the new office boy and instead gave him the keys and told him to get the lamp himself, while also asking him to refill the toilet paper. Joe's was too confused to say anything. After work, Joe's stopped by the field to meet his cousin, Beto, and told him everything he did at his new job. Even though Beto didn't understand a single thing that Joe's told him, he was proud that now his cousin had become an engineer and had a great job. The next morning at the office, because he was still a new staff, Joe's was only asked to photocopy some files and had no real job to do. He was also given a reply letter from NASA. He nervously opened the letter and found out that his application was rejected. That night on the porch of his house, Joe's confided in his father about his dream of working at NASA. But during the conversation, his father kept bringing up his dream of building a house in the village that he once sacrificed for Joe's education and hoped that Joe's could be successful quickly so that he could raise the status of the family. Joe's was angry to hear his father bringing up the issue. He knew that his father had sacrificed his dream, but he was fed up with that story. He always felt guilty and like a burden to the family. Seeing his son's weak attitude, his father said that Joe's shouldn't be afraid of being pressured by the family, 
while saying that you never raise a spoiled son. You wanted Joe's to be strong enough to bear the burden. Hearing his father's words, Joe's fell silent, contemplating what he just heard. The next day, Joe's and Betta went to a car dealer to trade his car for a new car. There, Joe's met a beautiful salesperson named Adela and immediately fell in love with her. After choosing the car and being handed over the keys, Joe's dared himself to get to know her. It turned out that Adela also grew up in a farmer family, and because they had things in common and felt compatible, Joe's thought he had a chance and asked Adela out on a date on the weekend. Adela wanted to, but she had to ask for permission from her father first. On Sunday evening, as promised, Joe's came to Adela's house. At first, he was confident that he would definitely be allowed to take her out, but when Adela said that his father was grumpy, suddenly his knees felt weak. When he came in because it was the first time Adela had brought a boy home, Joe's was interrogated by her brothers. Soon, Adela's father came and talked to Jose. Without further ado, her father immediately forbade his daughter to be in a relationship and would only let Adela meet Cozy if he was there. Joe's was too scared to object to him and just nodded. The next day at the office, when he was told to photocopy a project file, Joe's realized there was an error in the data calculations. He rushed over to tell Clint, but because everyone was busy, Joe's took the initiative to go into the lab and recalculate the errors. Joe's was caught changing the data. When Clint reprimanded him, he tried to explain the results of his analysis in as much detail as possible, starting from the error in data calculations to the formulas he managed to solve. Clint was amazed. He didn't expect Joe's to be able to solve the very difficult calculations. He was so amazed to the point that he wanted Joe's to join the project, to which Joe's accepted happily. A month after he joined the project, Joe's dared himself to propose to Adela. Six years after they married, Joe's was blessed with two children. He had also been promoted to head of the project. One morning when he was chairing a meeting, Clint told him that currently America and Russia were working together to develop a nuclear power plant project in Siberia and suggested Joe's join the project, saying that it was a good opportunity because if the project succeeded, NASA would definitely be interested in him. But even so, Joe's didn't say anything. That night after work, Joe's was surprised to see Adela waiting at the dining table. She showed the reply letters from NASA that she found and was disappointed because Joe's never told her that he wanted to be an astronaut. If his dream came true, it meant that Joe's would go into space leaving the family for a very long time. Adela was angry at him and just told him to go to the store to buy diapers. After returning from the shop, Joe's stopped by Beto's house. He confided about the fight he just had. Goes deliberately kept his dreams a secret because he knew that not everyone could understand and so it was better for him to fight alone. Besides, everyone would definitely laugh if they found out that there was a child of a poor farm worker who wanted to be an astronaut. Beto tried to encourage that there was nothing wrong with being a child of a farm worker. Ghost should be proud to have big dreams. Imagine if one day he really became an astronaut, the whole world would be inspired by his story. Beto told him not to worry about his wife, saying it was just a mere misunderstanding. And if he apologized, his wife would understand. When Joe's returned home, according to Beto's advice, he said sorry to his wife because all this time he had kept his dreams a secret. He promised that there would be no more secrets. Seeing her husband's sincerity, Adela was touched. She would try to understand and support his dreams. She then suggested he try taking courses to have other skills that could increase his value from his competitors. She even would give her savings to support him. Hearing his wife's support, Joe's was moved, so the very next day he started participating in various kinds of training. Years after, Joe's had completed many trainings and acquired many skills, but even so, there hadn't been any good news from NASA, until one night, Joe's remembered Clint's suggestion and asked Adela for permission to work as a nuclear power plant project supervisor in Russia. Apart from getting a certificate, he could also practice Russian so that his CV would be better. Without thinking twice, Adela immediately gave her permission, and the next day, Joe's left for Russia. A few months later, NASA reopened their job vacancy, but because his application had always been rejected, Joe's was determined to go to Washington, D.C. to go directly to NASA's office and meet the pilot captain. He handed in his application while introducing himself and said that his goal in coming there was because he really wanted to prove that he was worthy of being accepted. For the last 10 years, he had joined many courses and learned many skills that no one else had. He didn't want to give up, and no matter how many times he was rejected, he would always return. Seeing his determination, the captain was amazed. One month after his job in Russia was finished, when Joe's was partying with his family, there was a reply letter from NASA. When he read the contents of the letter, Joe's fell silent, trembling. He told Adela that he had finally been accepted. A few days later, Joe's moved to Washington, D.C. to be closer to the workplace. On the first day of work, NASA pilot captain gave a welcoming speech to the new pilots and astronauts. After the speech, a senior pilot named Kalpana took them on a tour to introduce all of the facilities there. 
The next day, all the new pilots started training. But after days of training, Joe's always got the lowest score compared to the other pilots. One afternoon after diving practice, Joe's got a call from home, telling him that Beto had passed away. After the funeral, Joe's was contemplating alone in Beto's room when amid sadness, Beto's daughter approached him and told him that Beto was very proud of him. She said that her father always hoped that one day he would be able to watch Joe's fly into space, but sadly, fate said otherwise. The next day, Joe's returned to training. This time, he practiced flying a jet plane with the captain. At first, everything went smoothly, but suddenly, the plane signal had an error. Luckily, Joe's and the captain survived the incident. The captain was angry and warned that if his grades continued to drop, her Joe's would be expelled from NASA. That night before returning from work, Joe's stopped by Kalpana's office to ask for advice. He didn't know what to do, no matter how hard he trained and tried, he never had any real progress. Seeing Jose in despair, Kalpana tried to encourage him. She told him a story about her experience when flying out into space. From up there, the Earth looked very beautiful. The atmosphere, the colors, everything was really beautiful. But to be able to see that beauty required struggle and pain. Kalpana's story just now made Jose's spirit return. Kalpana then told him that next week, he would be assigned to go to space again. Hearing that, Joe's was also happy. He couldn't wait to experience it too. The next day in the pool, the novice pilots were practicing self-rescue simulations, but in the middle of the training, when all the pilots managed to save themselves, one pilot got stuck. Realizing that his colleague was in danger, Joe's rushed to help. Fortunately, Joe's managed to save him. Meanwhile, seeing Joe's action just now, the captain was amazed. The next day, early in the morning while jogging, Joe's accidentally saw that there was a building for rent. He suddenly remembered that Adela had told him that she really wanted to open her own restaurant so to please his wife, Joe's decided to rent the place. One afternoon when he was helping serve customers, Joe's remembered that that day was Kalpana's homecoming day. He then hurriedly watched the TV news only to find out that the jet engine in Kalpana's rocket had malfunctioned and had failed when passing through the Earth's atmosphere. The rocket exploded. Joe's immediately went to the landing site and when he got there and saw the crew gathering to evacuate the victims, he was shocked. The next day, even though he was still grieving, Joe still had to focus because that day was the final exam day. The exam was to operate the ISS. Fortunately, Joe's managed to pass, and because he got the highest score, he was called by the NASA Board of Directors. When facing the directors, Joe's was told that NASA was planning to launch a second rocket for a mission to check the condition of the satellite. Of all the candidates, he was the one who got selected to accompany the pilot captain to carry out this mission. And if he was willing, the rocket launch would be carried out next month. Hearing the offer, Joe smiled happily. After the long wait, struggling for tens of years, his dream of flying into space finally came true. Without thinking twice, Joe's accepted the offer. After facing the board, Joe's proudly met Adela at the restaurant while wearing his astronaut uniform. One month later, the day he had been waiting for arrived. That morning before leaving, Joe said goodbye to his family. He was very grateful for all the sacrifices and support of his family, so that he could be as successful as he was. After hugging everyone, he left. The next day before the rocket launch, Adela came with a surprise for Jose. When Jose saw Miss Young coming, he was surprised. The first person who believed in his dream was in front of him. Miss Young then showed his homework paper back then where he drew his dream of becoming an astronaut while saying that she was proud to see that his little Jose had now succeeded in becoming an astronaut. When he heard that, Jose was touched. During the day when all the preparations were finished, Jose and his astronaut team entered the rocket. The rocket launch went smoothly and they reached orbit soon after. When watching the view from above the Earth, Joe's was so amazed. He could finally see the beauty of the Earth that Kalpana told him back then. He smiled in satisfaction. Even though he was born as the child of a poor farm worker, his hard work changed his fate. The child of a poor farm worker had finally become an astronaut and was flying into space.